All right, so we are in the process of wiring up Adam's B58 Link ECU E46. So I'm gonna run you guys through on how to assemble a DT connector properly. First thing you wanna do is buy your DT connector from a good, reliable brand, so you're actually getting a real TE connectivity piece. So Wire Care is where we go through. They got great stuff, everything comes pre-packaged with your terminating ends, your retainers, as well as your connectors, male and female. So for this one, we're gonna be doing a two-pin male DT connector. So first thing you wanna do, if you're already heat shrunk up to the eighth end of where you wanna be, uh, just make sure you leave enough slack here so you have enough room to strip the wire down. All right, now there's several different ways that you can strip this down. There is specifications for how much wire you should strip back based on the depth of your terminating end. So this tool here actually has a preset base setting here, which I can set up so that it will back down right where it gets to. Or you can measure it the old fashioned way and just use a conventional wire stripper like these. That works too. Next, you get your terminating end, slip it over the wire. There is a little hole on the side here that's gonna show you to make sure that the wire is fully bottomed in there. Now you can see that there's a stripe there. Now if you have the proper tools, again, TE connectivity, they have a base setting here for the thickness of the gauge of wire. This is a 16 gauge wire, so I'll twist my little knob there to 16. Slide it to where I make full contact onto my stripe on the terminating end. Crimp it. And always give it a little courtesy pull, make sure it doesn't come off. Do the same thing with the other wire. Now what I like to do is take a bit of the adhesive-backed heat shrink and run it over both connectors and just let it hang out down here until you